My family and I always traveled uh, all over Kyiv in search of new, new old things uh, to remade or just to wear. So for me, it's just a very important thing from the very, very beginning. I started making cut-to-size cutouts with materials found at second-hand markets. It gave me opportunity to find unique and cheap materials at the same time. It seemed like exciting endless game for me, collecting fabrics, curtains, tablecloths, and transforming them into one entire collection. We started the shirt project with Natasha Isupova. We started to buy shirts all over the flea market, second hands. We remade them into tops, into uh, dresses. I loved this book from my early childhood. It's about Scandinavian fairy tales. I was in love with all the characters. And one guy who wears only upcycled things was my favorite one. Are you still living in an imaginary world? I, I think so. I think queer theme inspires me a lot because it's very strong freedom in this. And in Ukraine it's, it's also a forbidden theme because we have a very traditional kind, kind of thinking. I want to make sure that all world around me is just very uh, artificial. I like the idea of living in very isolated fairy tale world and I want people to to join me in this world.